2019 was the year in Virginia Beach that a nightmare before Christmas happened. The mysterious portrait was no larger than a postage stamp. Artist Larry Estes gave away prints of his strip to customers chosen from a box of entries. But when he featured a portrait of the Witch of Pungo in his strip, something eerie happened. The original vanished from the Witch Duck print shop. The print shop staff, GM, and even home office were stunned, as apparently they never had an original go missing. And they stated that they'd never throw away originals, even if a kid did it. When the compensation check arrived, Estes was shocked. The check was dated December 7th. That's the same day the Witch of Punga received her rare award, possibly her only award, in court in 1705. The eerie nature of the portrait prompted Estes to write a book about growing up on the river where she was dunked in 1706. He featured the portrait on his book's cover. As Larry put finishing touches on his book, he heard a familiar voice. His sister-in-law was delivering breaking news of the worst mass murder in Virginia Beach history. Within minutes of receiving his shipment of books at his doorstep, a flood oozed from the wall where he worked. On the back of his book, Larry made a reference to this tragedy, way too close to home, but there was more. Larry was scheduled to do a book talk at a Norfolk library, but it had to be postponed because at that very time he was attending his mother-in-law's funeral. Some 40 miles away from where the first accused witch was executed in colonial America. Larry honored his mother-in-law's passing by adding a teardrop to his painting. A signed numbered edition of 313 copies is available in honor of Grace Sherwood's 313th anniversary of her dunking in the author's backyard river.